I made it abundantly clear that we had to do everything we could to protect our people. What I did not and do not believe any secretary should do was to substitute my judgment from thousands of miles away for the judgment of the security professionals who made the decisions about what kind of security would be um, provided. Yeah, the Scottish force, which were fantastic. Former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton said, I think she had a responsibility to oversee security in Libya. The 2012 Benghazi attack on the American consulate, which is why we had those hearings yesterday. It took the lives of four Americans, including the American ambassador to Libya and information officer Sean Smith, which brings us to our next guest, Sean's mom, Pat Smith. Pat, welcome back. We wanted to get your perspective on, as, as a family member, what you got out of the nine hours of testimony yesterday. I'm still trying to get the same answers that I've been trying to get since day one. I come on and I say what happened, what my son told me, what, what is happening, that he requested security, and nobody does anything about it. I've said the same thing over and over again. And then Hillary gets on there and says, I've done everything I could do except read the menu, memos. Uh, somebody else is responsible for that. I don't know anything about it. Pat, uh, you also told me that uh, among the people requesting more security uh, via email was your son. That's just what I said. Yes, he did. He, he told me the night before that he has been asking for security and he's been tur he hasn't heard anything yet. He's been turned down. So when, that, when you saw Republicans and Democrats fighting with each other, uh, instead of getting to the bottom of this, what are your thoughts when they were, you saw Cummings and uh, yelling at Jordan and back and forth like this? This is a heck of a way to run a country, isn't it? I don't agree with any of what, what they were doing. They, they're hassling one another instead of fixing the problems. Right. Uh, so out of all this, when it came out that she was communicating to the president and never talked to the Secretary of Defense, the chairman of, uh, the, chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, when this attack was going on, what are your thoughts about that? My thoughts are that it took 13 hours for all this to go down in Benghazi. And during that time, I would think that somebody could be sent to help when they knew it was happening. My understanding is they even sent an unarmed drone in there, and they were watching it happen, and they still didn't do anything. And by they, I mean Clinton. Clinton looked better or worse in your eyes now? She's always been worse. She's, at, at the very beginning, I liked her. I was for Hillary, and then when all this stuff started happening and I found all the lies, that they told me lies. Hillary and Obama and Panetta and Biden and, and all of Susan Rice all told me it was a video when they knew, right. they knew it was not the video. And Wait, they so, said that they would right. call me and let me know what the outcome was. What, what happened? Because I kept saying, well, what happened? What, 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 all, what, what and happened? Never, and they never got to you, and we still didn't get to it yesterday. Pat Smith, we're not going to stop now. Uh, thanks so much, and so sorry about Sean, and we'll continue to pursue this. Uh, Thank you very much. You're welcome. Meanwhile, so,